The United Nations Special Envoy for Yemen said he hopes to investigate the potential of a lengthier and expanded truce with Yemen's warring parties in the coming weeks. According to Hans Grunberg, an extension may be a good step towards ending the country's eight-year civil conflict. He did not specify the length or the scope of the extension he is proposing ahead of the current two months truce expiration on August 2nd. According to Grunberg, renewing the truce would allow time and opportunity to begin serious discussions on Yemen's economy and security, as well as address key concerns such as income and salary collection. Yemen's government and Iran-backed Houthi rebels agreed to a ceasefire on April 2nd, which was extended on June 2nd. Though each side accused the other of breaking the truce, it was the first statewide ceasefire in the conflict six years in the Arab world's poorest country. According to him, civilian casualties have been cut in half in the three months since the truce began. In addition, seven fuel tankers carrying roughly 200,000 metric tons of various petroleum products have been authorized to reach Yemen's main port of Hodeida. Since the truce's inception, 15 commercial round-trip flights have carried about 7,000 people between Yemen's capital, Sana'a, and Jordan's capital, Amman, Grunberg elaborated. He stated that talks with Egyptian officials on frequent flights to Cairo are now underway. The sides agreed to meet and discuss route openings as part of the ceasefire, including easing the Houthis' ground siege on Taiz, Yemen's third largest city. The Houthis, according to Grunberg, rejected the most recent UN plan for a gradual reopening, but his attempts to find a solution will still go forward. Concerned over worrisome escalatory rhetoric by the parties doubting the merits of the truce in recent weeks, the UN envoy voiced his alarm. The alternative to the truce, he warned, is a return to hostilities and likely an intensified phase of conflict with all of its predictable consequences for Yemeni civilians and regional security. Madam President, in the last weeks we have seen worrisome escalatory rhetoric uh, by the parties questioning the benefit of the truce, a dangerous move that I ask both sides to refrain from. Let us be clear, the alternative to the truce is a return to hostilities and likely an intensified phase of conflict with all of its predictable consequences for Yemeni civilians and regional security. According to Grunberg, the United Nations is still receiving complaints from both sides regarding alleged assaults, such as direct and indirect fire, drone strikes and recon over flights.